There's a very interesting Gemara in Erevin that learns halacha, tells an interesting story, learns halacha from a Pasuk in this week's Parsha. The Pasuk in this week's Parsha tells us, V'yata kitfu lachem et ashira azot, lamda b'nei Yisrael simu b'fiyem. So you have, there's a mitzvah to write a Sefer Torah, there's a mitzvah to teach the Torah to b'nei Yisrael, and simu b'fiyem, place it in their mouths. What does that mean? So the Gemara is darish, that there's halacha that you have to teach the Torah to your students really well until the, they understand it, is the words that it's learned to use that. And the Gemara tells this story about Rabbi Preda. Rabbi Preda had a student who it took him 400 times. Every time he wanted to teach him every sugya, he had to teach it to him 400 times. And wow, Rabbi Preda had this incredible patience that he was willing to teach the student every day. And every day it took him 400 times. One day the Gemara tells us, Rabbi Preda was called for a Dvar Mitzvah. Maybe there was some Maisa Chesed he had to do. He had to go somewhere for some Mitzvah. So he said, okay, I'll teach the student the 400 times, and then I'll go do that. And that day, he taught the student the 400 times, and it didn't work. As hard as it was to teach the student 400 times any topic, this time the 400 times didn't work. So he said to the student, what happened today? Usually I teach you 400 times and you get it. Today not. And the student said, well, I knew they called you to that Dvar Mitzvah. So the whole time I couldn't concentrate on anything I was learning. The little bit of concentration he does have to slowly get a sugya after 400 times. But I knew that you were going to go any second and that was all I could think about. So he says, okay, forget about that. I'm going to teach it to you again. And he sat and he taught him another 400 times. That's the story. And then the Gemara says, Kodesh Baruch Hu came to him and said, wow, Rabbi Preda, I'm so impressed. You had the patience to teach this student 800 times. You deserve a reward. So let me give you two options. You'll either get another 400 years in this world, or you and everybody in your generation is going to get to go into Olam Haba. So Rabbi Preda said, everybody in my generation goes to Olam Haba. And the Gemara says, well, because you chose wisely, I'm going to give you both of them. That's the end of the story. But it seems kind of strange. And the Ber Yosef and Rav Yosef Salant, Rav Yosef Salant asks, why, uh, why is he rewarded? Doesn't that seem like the, the obvious choice? It's one thing if I offer you $100 and I offer you $10 and there's some deep reason why choosing $10 was better. And you go, wow, because you chose $10 instead of $100, you're deserving of reward that you weren't just so greedy. But... If you chose $100, why are we going to reward you? So, so too. He offered him Olam Haba. Why, why wouldn't he choose that? Why is he being rewarded for choosing Olam Haba? We know we have this story in Tanakh about Shlomo Melech and Malachim Aleph Per Gimel. Shlomo Melech finally took over the Malucha. He had been 12 years old. And he brought a whole lot of Korban in the Beit HaMikdash. A thousand Olot, the Pasuk says. So Hashem says, okay, you're deserving of reward. What do you want? And he could have chosen anything. Long life, revenge on his enemies, all the rich and all the rich, you know, gold and silver in the world. He could have gotten that all. And what did he choose? He wanted the ability to judge people properly. So, Ladun Dinah met. So, Kaddish Baruch Hu says, Wow, because you've chosen wisely, I'm going to give you all that other stuff. So, there it makes sense. He, had, he could have chosen riches. He didn't choose it. Let's give him the riches. But here, doesn't it seem that Rabbi Preda made the obvious choice? Why is he being praised? for making that choice. And the answer, says the Ber Yosef, is that Rabbi Preda was somebody who understood the purpose of our life in this world. And that purpose is to maximize our time to learn Torah and do mitzvot. And he was somebody who took advantage of all that time. And yes, he invested in this student and taught him every sugya 400 times. But that was being using all his time properly for Torah and mitzvot. And he was somebody who all his, he didn't waste time with, with uh, meaningless pursuits. He used all his time for Torah mitzvot. And he was somebody who got what it's all about. As the Mishnah in Perkei Avos tells us, Yafeshachat in this world of Torah and mitzvot, more than Chayolam Abba. So Rabbi Preda has now a choice. I could choose another 400 years in this world. Think about what Rabbi Preda could do with 400 years in this world. The rest of us, Maybe we wouldn't get the most out of 400 years, but he really would. And he said, wait, on the other hand, me and my whole generation can get into Olam Haba? 
I'm going to choose that. And therefore, he was rewarded. He knew 400 years. Oilam Haba is a good zach. Learning Torah is a besser zach. It's even better to learn Torah. And yet, for the sake of that, he chose everybody to get into Olam Haba. That was better. And therefore, because he was willing to choose on behalf of everybody else, rather than get more time for himself and somebody who really appreciates the value of every single second, every single minute of every single day, and nonetheless, he chose that, therefore, he was deserving of reward. And that's the message for all of us. For all of us, as we approach Slichos Night, well, us been Ashkenazim, we approach Slichos Night, Sparta been doing it a while, but we're all, every Tzibor, Kovanei Marom, we're approaching Rosh Hashanah next week. As we take stock of our year and we do our Cheshman and Nefesh and we decide about how to make next year better, we can learn from this Pasuk, teaches us about learning Torah to the best of our ability until we know it clearly. We have this tremendous example of Rabbi Preda. Rabbi Preda maximized every second, and that can give us all the lesson. Every one of us should figure out how to better maximize our time for Torah and Mitzvos now and always. I wish you all a Shabbat Shalom and Shana Tova. Thank you.